Walking tour around Copenhagen, Denmark, August 30th, 2024. The morning of August 30th, I headed via bus and train to Copenhagen, a city I always enjoy visiting. Around the Copenhagen Central Station, the main railway station in Copenhagen. The current station building opened in 1911 and is the work of architect Hendrik Wink. The station has seven platforms and 13 trucks. On the station concourse, there are many shops, restaurants, cafes, and fast food outlets. The Tube Copenhagen, a one-of-a-kind experience in the Danish capital. Challenge your senses with your inner child, become a Viking and get lost in unending rooms. This attraction is filled with Insta and TikTok opportunities. The station is situated in a dense urban environment. To the east, it is immediately adjacent to the inner city amusement park, Tivoli Gardens. Around Tivoli Gardens, an amusement park and pleasure garden in Copenhagen. Tivoli Gardens, the world's second oldest amusement park. Since 1843, Tivoli Gardens has offered a haven of wonderment. Look forward to 30 fun rides, thousands of colorful flowers, an array of spectacular concerts, captivating ballet, and theater performances, delicious culinary delights at more than 30 restaurants and unforgettable memories for the whole family. A window display of the iconic Lego. Copenhagen, a city of contrasts between the old and the new. around City Hall Square in the center of Copenhagen. Now in view, the handsome Copenhagen City Hall building by architect Martin Nirop, inaugurated in 1905. The Dragon Fountain was designed by Joachim Skogard in collaboration with Thorvald Bindesball and features a bull in combat with a dragon. Erected in 1965, this iconic statue is strategically positioned at Copenhagen City Hall Square, directly facing Hans Christian Andersen's Boulevard. The placement of the statue is symbolic, with Andersen seated and gazing toward Tivoli Gardens, the famed amusement park that inspired some of his magical stories. The weather girl with her bicycle, a gilded sculpture group telling the weather in City Hall Square. Mm -hmm. 
around and stroll a pedestrian car-free shopping area. The Amber Jewelry Store is always like a magnet to me, and especially since they offer a 40% discount on all their pieces. My new set, pendant necklace, earrings and bracelet. Let's enjoy the detail of the amazing mirror adorned by exquisite amber design. The Stork Fountain, presented to Crown Prince Frederick and Crown Princess Louise on their silver wedding anniversary in 1894. Since 1950, it has been a tradition that newly graduated midwives dance around the fountain. Kongs Nutov, the king's new square, laid out by Christian V in 1670. Aerial image of the square. Centrally located at the end of the pedestrian street, it is the largest square in the city and has an equestrian statue of Christian V at its center. The cobbled square and its garden complex was inspired by the royal city planning seen in Paris from the early 17th century. The equestrian statue of Christian V dates from 1688 and it is the oldest equestrian statue in Scandinavia. Originally made in gilded lead, it was recast in bronze in 1939. Around Nihon, New Harbor, a 17th century waterfront, canal and entertainment district. Stretching from the King's New Square to the Inner Harbor, just south of the Royal Playhouse, it is lined by brightly colored 17th and early 18th century townhouses and bars, cafes and restaurants. The canal harbors many historical wooden ships. The Nihon Bridge opens to let a small sailboat through the canal in the waterfront tourist area, just where I was about to enjoy lunch al fresco. Nihon's Croin restaurant, the food was good and the menu varied, 
nothing too adventurous but well prepared. I ordered a Danish style open hamburger served with pickles, raw egg yolk, horseradish, beetroot, capers and raw onions. Then it was time to walk back to the train station for the ride back to Kugge. <laughs>